Hi guys, I thought I would try to do a US vlog. My first stop is Brooklyn, which is where my brother lives. And then I'll be heading into Manhattan at the beginning of this week to hang out with my dear friend Jenny. I just did a quick run to this cemetery. It's nice and cool. My first time running in non-tropical weather and it's great. Um, so far, have just walked around, hung out with my bro a little bit and getting over jet lag, not too bad to be honest. And I'll keep you guys posted on what I get up to. Okay, look how pretty this neighborhood is. It's so pretty. Are these are these brownstones? I don't know what that means. But this is like ultimate fall vibes. Hello guys, I am vlogging from my hotel. I just finished my shower after my run, which was super nice. That's the first run that I've done not in 30 degrees Celsius weather. That was also super humid, so it was kind of a weird feeling to not be sweaty, but still a very satisfying shower. I had a really uneventful flight from Singapore. The flight was about 16 hours, so I watched two Marvel movies and slept a bunch. I am a huge fan of long flights. I actually thought the flight was supposed to be 18 hours, so I was kind of bummed that it was only 16, but it just feels like such a safe space to me. Like, no one can bother you. You have your own little cocoon, and you just can raise your hand and get water or food. The food on SQ was really good. I love flying Singapore Airlines. So the flight was very uneventful. Then I took the train into Brooklyn. When I arrived, I met up with my brother. We went to the movies. We saw House of Gucci. And then this morning I slept in a lot because I think I actually didn't get very restful sleep on the plane. So hopefully my sleep schedule won't be too whack from that. But I'm about to head over back to my brother's place so we can get dinner, and I'll just chill there. Um, ideally, I would just vlog this from the train station so I don't miss it. I can see the train right out my window, and so I know one just left, so I should probably hustle to catch the next one. But I'm definitely still too shy to vlog in public. I was expecting some reverse culture shock, but actually I haven't had any. Last time I came back to the U.S., the shouting in the street really kind of threw me, but this time I feel like I just put on my street smarts, don't talk to anyone, ignore people yelling at you, and it's been fine. And so far, I don't really feel like a tourist. I mean, obviously I'm not a local, but I feel like... It's been good. I haven't like gone shopping or done anything where I have to interact with people, so maybe that's why. But so far, it's been pretty nice to have the fall weather, and I'm definitely in a part of Brooklyn that's a little sketch, and so there has been a lot of yelling and screaming, but it's kind of liberating. Like, Singapore in some ways is a little bit restrained, either restrained or more civilized. There's always two sides to every coin. And so in the U.S., we're definitely less civilized, but maybe less restrained. And so just all the noise and people just talking on their phones so loudly makes me feel less like the loud American and more just normal. 